Hello, good morning. Uh, this is Chance. I'm out on my morning walk. Still a little bit cloudy, but I wanted to share just a little bit of news and update with you guys. I know recently, if you've been watching the news, you've been seeing the highlights of uh, Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher is that lady who uh, co-starred in uh, Star Wars, the movie Star Wars. Um, she died not too long ago from heart attack. And um, a lot of the media is carrying the coverage, but although it's a bad situation, they're painting it in a good light, meaning that they're trying to share the fact that this has brought to the forefront again the why you know we need to pay attention to women's heart issues and women's heart disease because when women suffer a heart attack it's easier for a man to recover um, than a woman you can check these out on um, dr neil bernard's blog and others and so that reminds me the fact that sisters out there you got to take care of your health you know it's easier said than done you know, most of the times I come out to walk, I don't really see a lot of people. Matter of fact, there's one older gentleman, even more faithful than myself. I mean, every day this guy is out twice a day in the morning and in the evenings. But nonetheless, especially now that we are finishing a year and beginning a new one, I think we need to make a new commitment to our health goals. I mean, almost every week at church, we pray for people who are sick. There are people in the hospital, man, who wish that they will have our health who are praying right now for God to maybe work some kind of miracle to heal them and to recover them and we who have the health are not taking good care of it so and I mean and I'm there with you too I mean I, I'm working on it as well but I really want to let you know that there are things that we can do basic simple things but my good friend Jim Ron has a saying that he says uh, the things that are easy to do are also easy not to do so it's easy to go outside and walk, but it's also easy not to go walk. It's easy to go and, and do some gardening in the back or something like that. It's easy to go play with your kids, to play ball, to play catch. But it's also easy not to do because those are the very things that we don't do. And not only that, but one of my colleagues, Dr. Uh, Cooper, Dr. Donna Cooper, has actually released a new book. And here's the interesting thing, right? She's given away the Kindle book practically free, right? It's 99 cents. So that's easy to get. And guess what? Many people still will dabble or, or lollygag in, in getting a book that can help uh, change and turn their life around. So her book is called Get Healthy for Life. I like that title, it's interesting. And the subtitle is The Nine Secret Pillars of Health that can help you to actually live a longer, stronger, and energetic life. So I'm encouraging you to go ahead and get it. And uh, if you go to her website, uh, gethealthywithdrcooper.com, you can get the, the paperback book, actually, just for paying, shipping, and handling. So, again, two free books, pretty much. But I'm just saying, there are only a few more days left in this year. Why not take time to invest in your health? First, by getting this book, because you have to have good information, right? And then, secondly, why not go ahead and, uh, and start making some goals start making some plans that you're gonna get healthy start with eating resting um, exercising basic things like I'm out walking we don't have to do all the strenuous stuff right I know many people are gonna go out and get gym memberships and that's all good too but the reality is that most people don't even use their gym membership so the whole point is start with the simple things take simple actions but remember your health is your most important asset right now. Even for those who are Christians, that's the way you serve God. You know, the healthier we are is the more we can commune with God and be of service to mankind. And so think about the sick people that you hear about every week at church. Just imagine if they will have your health. So I want you to, you know, just chew on that for a little moment. And God bless you. I hope that you will have a wonderful day today. And in all that you do, take good care of your health. I'm out. Bye-bye.